Hi folks, Tim here again from High End Cheap Tech and today we are going to be testing out the Keep T Peak. I think I got the pronunciation down. I think they meant to say, you know, it's the Chinese and they're trying to keep it short. I'm sure they meant Keep It Peak. They could have called it the Keep T Clean, but let's face it, they don't speak English and during the translation, things get, well, lost. So, as we all know, I will be here shortly this morning. This is Sunday morning. Uh, as, and as usual, the post office damn near gave me a heart attack. I was in the middle of just lambasting Amazon. I hadn't hit send yet. Uh, about their prime delivery because I got something saying it had been delivered into town and expected here tomorrow. And I'm like, huh? They're, no. No, I paid for two-day delivery. I have prime. I'm going to cancel it. This is horseshit. And then I remembered I kind of held off and hit the send button because I remembered They've done this to me every single Sunday. And sure enough, about four minutes later, it says, out for delivery. And so it'll be here for the next hour or two. It, it could already be sitting out there. Or a lot of times our fine local backwater postal delivery guys just... Uh, don't do that good a job. So, we're going to get to the intro, and then we'll get to the video. As soon as I get the product, we'll unbox it, and I'll begin to use it immediately on my Artec keyboard, because I want to get all the crumbs and cigarette ashes and crap off of it. And I might have accidentally put a few extra ashes up on the desk so we can really test it out good. Let's do that intro. All right, folks, here it is. Obviously, Keep T Peak is uh, the marketing agent. This is actually made by Honk. I mean, who hasn't heard of them? Mini portable vacuum suction strong. It will just rip the keys off your keyboard, according to this. Yeah, not one of the better pictures I would use. And there it is, attacking a keyboard here. Uh, looks mighty tiny there. And then pet health cleaning, and car health cleaning, in case your car might be sick. Uh, so let's get her open, check her out, and we'll probably have to pause and charge it, I'm pretty sure. Um, it says it uses uh, USB 5 volts. It doesn't say the amperage, hopefully there's some instructions, and a lithium ion battery of 8 watts. So, let's get her on out of the package here. It's, uh, relatively small unit, but now it says to turn on. You turn your power switch down, which I don't know if that's by turning it down for that. I'm not sure. It does use micro USB to charge. Not a problem. I got a ton of older micro USB chargers and cables and all that. Uh, and a little card here from the folks. You know, thanks for choosing. Blah, 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 blah. Our products. Worry free. 
<laughs> Any questions? Welcome to send us email by a good chance me. <laughs> okay, come. We'll reply in 24 hours. Good chance they'll ever reply. <laughs> we'll see. Now. Oh, okay. We've got portable, rechargeable vacuum cleaner. Click on, then click off. Oh, the switch is at the back. Ooh. I think, yeah, tend an idiot. This is just a protective cover. Click on. Ooh. It sucks. All right. So, ooh. all right. <laughs> we'll get to that in a second. Great toy. Mm -hmm. uh, nozzle. Two kinds of straw. Uh, so two nozzles here. Very. Very tiny nozzle, by the way. Look, there they are. We got this puppy, and then we have the other one. The other one. The little flat nozzle here. Right there. Your standard, you know, nozzle. In miniaturized form. And, oh, look. And this, I think, might be the dust filter or some kind of filter for it. We'll see. <coughs> Gonna read some of the instructions. Be right back. All right, folks, I'm back. I've got everything out of the box where you can see it. This is the cover. Now it comes with the cover on it. But I just wanted to show you where the filter goes. It's right in here. It did come with two other filters. One of them's kind of coarse and you can pretty much see through it. And the other one is just like the sponge one in there. I don't know if it's a pre-filter that you set up here. I'm going to have to send a, a note to the seller about that or if uh, they just change the materials but you do get at least one spare filter it looks like it only uses one and of course the cover goes you know there's your dust collection bin so you unhook it and dump it out in your trash can or just rinse it off in the sink it should only be dust you know, you're not going to use this thing to clean up uh, Port Knox or uh, a car that's been sitting in the junkyard for five years. Um, this is a 2000 million power battery. And of course we've got two nozzles, the brush and the pointy thing and the USB cable. And I'm just using the same USB cable I keep plugged into my CP link hub which goes into the PC. And we got a nice red light so and I can feel the handle got eh, mildly warm there. And so once it's charged up, we'll come back and the nozzles go in quite easy. I can you know, put them in. That's it. Not much to it. There's little brushes here, and then we'll use that to clean up this thing. We'll get all that dust off of it. Get some nice sunlight so you can see the dust. It won't be there when we're done, theoretically. And if I do this every day, or maybe twice a day when I'm using it, 
it'll keep it clean. I might find out that this works just as well. Who knows? We'll see. This will easily work better on the desk. This thing does come up to work speed pretty quick, though. There you go. Whoa. I can see the on out of here. Uh, but before I run that down into the dirt, we're just going to want to charge for an hour or so. Be right back. Charge this for about, oh, right around an hour. I would say a little less. But I put it on a 2 amp charger. Uh, because I didn't figure that would fry it. I mean, if my, uh, uh, Moon's Angle 3 back there can handle it with only, like, a five or 600 milliamp hour battery, whatever's in it, this ought to be able to handle it. And it's nice and cool, so it never got hot. So let's check it out. We're going to let it fire up. And uh, we're going to use it on the keyboard I bought it to use with. You've just got up in the morning and you're going to be doing your typing and all kinds of stuff with your keyboard. We're going to let this come up to full speed. And it'll do that a little bit of wow, wow, wow for a while. But. Yeah. yeah. And then we're gonna mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that one appears to be pretty darn clean now huh? if you were to do that twice a day Cool. And so now, you know, when we're done with this, we're going to check the dustbin out inside and see how much crapola came off these two. I don't think I've ever put a vacuum on them. I may have wiped the keys off, but this has gone through like a remodeling at work, and there's constantly people doing uh, what do you call it? Uh, buffing on cars out where I sit. So a lot of that crap in the air. And some idiot smokes near it sometimes. So let's check it. We'll let her come up to. We'll let the engine spin up. So it lights. Alright. And, uh, and we're not going to get all this stuff. Some of that's been on there for like years. But we'll see how much we get out of it. Because we're, we're more worried. What we can see isn't going to kill it. It's the stuff down in the keys we're hoping to get clean. Mm. appears to be as clean as it's going to get, at least outwardly. So, all that being said, and you can also use this to clean your desk and, you know, it's like, oh, there's some dust in my wound angle free. I better get that out of there. Or, oh, my Zotac vents might be dirty. Over here. Hey, you're not going to be able to see them much because of the gooseneck in the way, but... And you can use it to clean up your ports that are open. Oh, yeah. 
Eh. You got all your other cell phones lying about. If you're like me, who has a lot of cell phones lying about. Gotta clean out the speaker port and that port and the headphone jack and that one. Maybe once a week or so. It would help if I could put it where it was pointed at what I'm doing. Boy Studio, probably never been vacuumed. Can the headphones out? Why not? Well, the port's on the Exxon M. Even your uh, micro SD tray and your buttons. Alright, so when guys are playing, well, how much crud is in here? Nothing. But let's clean it anyway. Alright, now, let's go ahead and check and see just how much crap we have removed. So I'm going to pull the nozzle off. I'm going to keep my hand here so I don't go letting anything out of the dustbin that might fall off the filter and that's from just a couple minutes of cleaning folks and you're not well there's a lot in there and it's just dust particles out of a couple of keyboards and ports now if you did this like say twice a day to your regularly used keyboard, you'd have a pretty darn good clean keyboard. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just rinse this off in the sink and then I'm gonna take the filter out and uh, do that right now. Well, filter with us on our way to the sink and that spare filter we're going to slip it in here and uh, now confession here I use this on my old USB keyboard so this filter's already been washed once it's still a little damp so I'm going to leave this lay here uh, and go clean this and uh, come back with some conclusions. All right, final conclusions, folks. So, uh, yeah, I do like this device. Still drying. A little moisture in there. I'm gonna set it outside. Got some nice hot sunshine out there. Uh, but what's for giggles sake of Sam reaching across with a cigarette and trying to put it over here in my ashtray but right about here the ash falls off I reach underneath and I hit the button obviously we don't have the nozzle on it that's outside RV dustbin and uh, filter are outside drying but I hit it and I can suck that shit up right away very cool and I like the pistol grip they have less expensive ones 1859 with prime not a bad deal I'll recommend it I say it's worth your money so if you uh enjoyed this video, found it informative, entertaining. The link to this will be in the description below, along with the link for the Artec keyboard, which is also totally worth every penny. Lights up at night, seven different colors. 
dirt cheap, super oil, super thin. God, I need a solid tripod. Uh, and uh, that's all I have for today. Last but not least, sliding up, you will see um, a link to, uh, well, a reminder to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give us that big thumbs up. I'll be happy, you'll be happy, you did, and, uh, Make sure you read the whole description. There's a link in there to help support us so we can buy more stuff like this to test. Yeah. I mean, still liking this idea. It's like, all right, Sheriff. We're going to suck that badge right off your chest. Drop your gun. Yeah. Okay. The pistol grip's cool. But, seriously... Just having it down here. And I'll play around with it for a few days and do a little follow-up. So we'll make sure the um, device lasts long enough. And we'll go for it from there. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Have a fantastic Sunday.